In Montana, the U.S. Forest Service has just renewed a permit for a statue of Jesus that sits on federal land. An atheist group says it will sue the U.S. Forest Service because the statue has no place in a national forest. The debate on the separation of continues with panelist Annie Laurie Gaylor of the Freedom From Religion Foundation. She's in Madison, Wisconsin, and Jordan Seculo from the American Center for Law and Justice. Welcome to you both. Thanks, Shannon. Thank you. All right, Ms. Gaylor, what are your objections to the statue? It's been there since 1953, put there by the Knights of Columbus, but you say it needs to go. Yes, the Forest Service should never have given a lease to this Catholic men's club to place a shrine, a religious shrine, on federal land. And uh, the purpose was clearly always religious. It's in the permit and the application. They've never paid any money, by the way, and this has been renewed every 10 years. So. Uh, we are suing tomorrow in Missoula Federal Court, and we are charging that this is an unconstitutional endorsement of religion and an improper uh, use of federal land that excludes those of us who are not Christian, who are not Catholic. Uh, the 15 percent of us who are non-religious should not be having to support a shrine to Jesus on federal land. All right, Jordan, where is the line? Uh, the line is, uh, as Shannon, as you mentioned, it's been there since 1953, and no one's complained until 2012. Now, 2011, when you had uh, Freedom From Religion Foundation, uh, and this is the group that is against Under God in the Pledge, our national motto in God We Trust, the National Day of Prayer. I'm sure would like to sandblast some uh, religious references that we have here all over Washington, uh, D.C., maybe Moses from the, the uh, Supreme Court and the Ten Commandments, because Moses that's what this is like. This has got, this has got a historical <laughs> reference. It, the reason why this statue is very different than other statues you'd see anywhere else in the country is because it's a copy of what soldiers, World War II veterans saw in Europe. Look through Switzerland, look through Poland, look through Eastern Europe as well, and you see these statues. They came back, and it was to honor World War II veterans from Montana, <laughs> and no one's ever complained. You can't make up a constitutional controversy over something that's been there since 1953, and no one has said that it's not used for worship, it's for a facility. Knights of Columbus follows the rules. Freedom from Religion Foundation tried to pull a fast one and get the Forest There's Service a, to pull it, and they reversed. They actually they're reversed because they heard the American permit. people. Well, le, and let me to note here that the, that, the US, that, the, that the Forest Service did open a public comment period after a Freedom from Religion raised yeah. concerns about this and said, you know, we don't feel like this is right. They had a comment section. Eventually, uh, that was closed, and we're told that the majority of those weighed in favor of keeping the statue. Well, but, Annie, that, Annie, do you say, like, e e even if the public comments, that the government has gone a step too far here? You don't take a poll on whether to obey the Constitution. The Bill of Rights places freedom of conscience and many other rights above tyranny of the majority. You, you, don't, don't you know what take happened here, though, Shannon? They, to decide whether religion the religion foundation went to, the park right, Jordan, Jordan, they went to the park service. They went to the park service and said, if guys, you don't pull this down, you have missed Jordan. Jordan, Jordan, the public. Jordan not, hold on one second. Let, let me give yeah, Annie a chance to, to answer uninterrupted, and then we'll yeah. give you a chance. All right, Annie, go ahead. The, the Jesus Shrine that is now on federal land, uh, it's owned by the Knights of Columbus, it is identical to hundreds if not thousands of rather crudely made uh, cement Jesus shrines that are on Knights of Columbus property all around the country and that is where it belongs and in fact the history shows this was never intended to be a memorial to any veterans of World War II and if it were that would be improper because there were many veterans in World War II who were atheists in foxholes who were Jews who are not Christians? The federal government but we may also not have erect crosses. We have this all over Christian. our facilities. I mean, no, Arlington National are Cemetery. Not Arlington National Cemetery. There are crosses because it represents specific veterans. That's what Knights of Columbus was doing here. That's the National fine Historic Register has said that this is eligible now because of its time. It's because been part the of a ski Service resort. Went it's been to part them of a and ski resort do that, since 1953. You picked the battle here. You went to the Park Service and tried to get them to do it without going to court. And the American people spoke up. And we had Actually, as many people Jordan, sign our letter as you did in three hours. Your whole membership we had the in three forest. hours. You had 5,000 comments come in. We had the other, what, 90,000? Congressman Rayberg took a stand with his constituents, ACLJ yeah, members. And, and now you're going to find yourself in court Rayberg making a really weak case. And we're going to be fighting it out for Senate with you. Annie and Jordan, we've got to call a truce here. I know we're not going to settle this what today. What's going he is. As, as and Annie, he's misinforming you. No, Go to our no, website. You know, okay, guys, guys, guys we've got to leave it there. Annie, I know that you're going to uh, file in federal court tomorrow. We will follow that lawsuit, your efforts here. And uh, Jordan, something tells me you're going to be involved in the other side. Uh, we'd love to have you both back as this uh, case proceeds through the courts. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you, Sharon.